I like Southern hospitality. I like the laid back attitude of the South. Now granted, it's not a place where I would want to wear a tag around my neck saying I'm transgender because, you know, I would be asking for people to kill me. I have to wonder when I can't even get an interview for jobs I am clearly qualified for, how much of that is because of who I am. I'm a black man in a transgender body in the Bible Belt with a pulpit as a platform, and I intend to take a stand. We're here today to say, not now. We will not stand down now. There needs to be an understanding that the church has a responsibility in this as well. Just like the church was a part of the civil rights movement, it needs to be a part of this awareness movement. Our Creator, we come before you with the gift of prayer to be able to talk to you. Mm -hmm. We just thank you for that. Yes. We know that you're listening. We ask your continued blessing upon us as we move forward to reach out to this state and to those people that have been rejected by their churches, to the trans community especially. You have called each of us to, to be activists, to be out there, to talk and to be bold mm -hmm. and to share the gospel and not be ashamed of who we are. It's tempting to think, you know, we could just pick up, we could go find some land somewhere, we could have a much simpler, easier life. But, you know, it's work is here. John 3.16 says that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have eternal life. We are a whosoever. We are the ones that are on the periphery that society says are unlovable, they're unacceptable. But we are here as trans clergy to let people know that God's love is unlimited, that God's love is for everyone, and God accepts you just the way you are.